Hey guys, Jay's here, and today I got a tutorial for uh, text animation. Uh, you usually see this text animation in Agony's videos. I saw it in his Heaven and Hell V2 trailer. Uh, it's like the intro text. I'll just show you how it looks like. And of course, my computer does have time I capture. Yeah, and this is a flies by on. It blurs and blurs out, whatever. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So let's get started. Alright, so first things first, just make a new composition. Uh, just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to make a tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to make this 10 seconds long. Uh, you can use your presets or whatever. I'm just going to use that. Alright, so first thing you want to do is make a text layer. Uh, so I haven't been to Turl in forever. Name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to just do what I just did before. Uh, the text I'm using is Bebas, B E B A S, and font size. I'm just going to put. Uh, you want to make font size right now. Otherwise, if you change later, it'll mess up your animation. I'm just going to put around 65. Uh, and, uh, maybe 58. Yeah, whatever. Alright, now just center it. Mm, right there. Seems good. Alright, so now what you want to do is just make a camera. Uh, make it 30. Five millimeter. Already got that. That's okay. Now you want to make this a 3D layer. If you guys don't have this little thing right here, just right click on this bar right here. Go to columns and click the switches. Otherwise, you can probably go over here or something. I'm not sure. All right. So since it's a 3D layer, and if you hit P for your position, uh. It's pretty much going to if you hold sh if you hold on shift it will by it will go by faster so you don't have to keep going. It's pretty much going out and in. So what you want to do is oh yeah I forgot put a ramp on my text. All right for your text just make this white no not white kind of grayish. And make this part black. Make this part three blend with OR or whatever, and make it a radial ramp. So put your first start point above the your text, and your end start point. Oh crap! Not keyframe. Uh, nope. End start point down there somewhere. If it's too dark, you can move it up. It's whatever you're liking. Just mess around with that. I'm just gonna keep it like right there for the tutorial. Alright, so what you want to do now is animate this to come in and out. So just hold down T so you can get the opacity. And keyframe the position. And hold down shift and in your Z axis, move this up till right there. And then go about I'm just gonna say one second and then turn it down hold on shift bring it down like right there and then just go down to like two seconds and then go down just a little bit not too much because you still want it moving and then go to like two seconds 45 seconds and then Turn that hold on shift. Go like right there. It doesn't have to disappear yet. Alright, so for your opacity, just go to that keyframe over here. Keyframe it. Turn that down to zero. Alright, so what you have here is basically your text coming in and it goes out. Yeah, that looks alright right now, but we can make this better. Uh first off you want to make a fast blur. Or just type fast blur. If, um, you can go to effects also and just go to generate effects or whatever and then 
drag that onto your text. Now you want to have the settings repeat edge pixel and make this at 90. Now go to your first keyframe and keyframe it. Then at 45 seconds, or not 45, 0.45 millisecond, go there and then keyframe that down to zero. Just click U so you can get get over there. So now it'll look like it comes in, really blurred in, and goes out. And then right here, you just want to blur it out again. Zero, just hit the keyframe, go to the end, turn that around like a hundred. So now if we just preview render this, you can see that it's really blurry right here, and then it becomes faded in and it goes in for a little bit and blurs out. Alright, well that's good and all. Let's just get that. Alright, as you can see, like right there, it just starts like shaking a little bit. What you want to do is right click there. If that happens to you, I think I already did this. But keyframe interpolation, and yours is probably a bezier or whatever. Change it to linear. Change this one to linear. And this one a linear, so both these keyframes that are in place, so which you can see. And the, for the rest, I'm just gonna select all of them and hold Shift for these two, and then press F9 makes it way better, so it looks way smoother. Although it's, that doesn't work, just go easy and easy ease. All right, <clears throat> so now it looks way smoother. Um, one more thing you can do is enable motion blur right here and for your composition. That'll just smoother, um, have better blur to it. I'm not going to do it just because it'll slow, slow down, but you guys can do it. Alright, to make more of this instead of repeating the whole process, control D this once or twice, how many, however many times you want it. And let me just bring this up. I didn't do that. Alright. And hit U for both of these so you can see the keyframes. So for the first one, I'm just going to bring this down a quarter because it's lagging my computer. And just bring that at the end. And hit off the thing and then go at the end over here. Bring this over here. And now what you want to do is change the text on all these. Save for his subscribers and this one a tutorial text animation. All right, that seems good. Um, so yeah. Oh, uh, one more thing. If you guys want to sync this with your song or whatever, I don't. I don't have a song right now. But uh, what you want to do is get your song, uh, sync it how you usually would have it, and then for your end key or your start keyframe, that's when you want it to. That's when you um, sync it to wherever your music begins or when the kick begins, and then just fade it out or start to fade it out wherever you want it to kick back again. Whatever. Usually you do that with um, trailer music or cinematic music but yeah that's about it uh hope you guys like this tutorial please leave a like or in comment of what you guys want next and how i should improve and hit the subscribe button if you already haven't so yeah thanks guys see ya